What's up everyone, this is Kevin right here from Bitcoin for Beginners. So you asked and I listened. One of my most popular videos is my how-to tutorial on MetaMask. And a lot of people said it was super unclear. So I wanted to make a new one that takes a little bit longer, but walks through everything in a step-by-step -step manner so that there's no confusion afterwards. As always, please let me know in the comments below if anything was still confusing, or if you really appreciate this video, I would love to hear from you as well. So you can go download MetaMask from metamask.io. It's an Ethereum browser, but I mainly use it as an Ethereum wallet. And I'm going to show you how to do that and also how to use it with my Ether wallet as well. And so I have Chrome, so I get the Chrome extension. Um, you can also use it with Firefox or Opera. And basically just go through the installation process. It will show up here as one of the extensions. And I'm just going to click it and I've already set it up. So you're going to have to go through the typical setup process. It should be pretty simple. I'm going to type in my password and unlock. And here you go. So a few quick things to note. This main screen shows my main account. Buy, send the amount I have. I have 0.039745 ethers, my transactions list my tokens I have in here and this which shows view account on Etherscan show QR code copy address export private key you can also change the network here usually you don't want to change this at all just keep it on the main Ethereum network unless you're trying to work with a test network for whatever reason this little drop down is for all my different accounts you can create account it's going to make a new one. So look, I'm going to press create account, account number seven, and you can name it test YouTube account, save, and then everything's zero. It's brand new. Once you drop down, you can see it right here. That's how you create an account. You can also import account if you create one elsewhere, like from myetherwallet.com. So basically for any Ethereum wallet you have in other places, you can export the private key or a JSON file and put it right here and press import json file you would choose file from your desktop and enter the password if it's encrypted and you will have it show up and you can select it in this drop down menu after it's done so just going back to my main account you can also click on this little hamburger menu right here click on settings and reveal seed wards i'm not going to click that because it's going to show my seed wards this is really important. Write it down, save it, never lose it. Because if something happened to your laptop or something happened to your MetaMask, you would still be able to retrieve all of your tokens and ethers in there by having these seed wards and your private key. So then you can press back right here, back to main account. And so one cool thing you can do is view account on Etherscan. And Etherscan is a pretty popular Ethereum block explorer. It shows you all the details of each address all the transactions, transaction details, and even how many tokens you hold. So I usually don't use this buy feature. Instead, I just send over my Ethereum from other sources. So how you do that is let's say you have Coinbase, okay? You just log into your Coinbase account, go to the send portion of your Ethereum wallet. It's gonna ask to place a receiving address, an address to withdraw your ethers to. So what you do there is just copy address to clipboard and paste that address, it's gonna be this full address, or this one, because this is the one that it opened on Etherscan. Paste that into that field on Coinbase, and then fill out all the other details, how much you wanna send, your two-factor authentication, and press submit. After that is processed by Coinbase, it may take a while, it will eventually show up on here, after the transaction has gone through sufficient amounts of confirmations. So it's gonna show up here, however much you send, and then you can send it to other people. So I'm going to send some just to show you how it works. I'm going to send, let's say, 0 0.007. And voila, here you go. Confirm transaction. It shows that I'm trying to send 0 0.007. And that's $8.88 USD. The gas limit, usually this is dynamically placed for you, these two fields, by MetaMask. But I'm going to up the gas price quite a bit because when the network is really congested, you need to up the gas price to make your transaction more lucrative for miners to include in the block 
so it gets processed faster. So I'm going to go all the way up to 80. And so the max transaction fee is $3.20, which is pretty high, but most of the time they don't end up using up all of this. And so I'm going to press submit. And there you go. You see this one? It says pending. That's why it has a dot, dot, dot. The other ones that are complete have these colors already. So it's pending. You can click this and it will pop up this transactions detail in Etherscan. And as you can see, it's pending as of 16 seconds ago. And we set 80 gas price and voila, successful. It's going to auto refresh and show you this. So I've successfully sent funds from my MetaMask address to another Ethereum address. And now my balance has been updated. And I just want to note real quick, it shows you the actual transaction cost, which is $2.14. That's pretty high because the Ethereum network is pretty congested these days. But I wanted my transaction to go through faster rather than slower. So that's why I upped the gas price so much. And as you can see in my video, it was pretty fast. I didn't want to wait too long. Another cool thing you can do in MetaMask is that it's an Ethereum wallet, right? So you can hold ERC-20 tokens. But I know I have more than these two because if you go to your Etherscan, you can click down here, View Tokens. So I actually have 160 app coins and 0.0004 Xenon. So my app coins aren't showing up there yet. So this is how you get it to show up in MetaMask. See, you are at the token app coins. So I just clicked on the little drop down in my address page, copy this contract address, go back to MetaMask token, add token, copy paste it here. And as you can see, it auto filled for me here. I didn't have to type anything. 18 is the usual one and you add. And voila, here it is, 160 APPC. It kind of glitched a little bit, so I had to close it and reopen it for this to show up. Now, this can definitely hold your tokens, but what if you want to send them? In that case, you have to use My Ether Wallet. So I'm going to show you how. Go to MyEtherWallet.com and be sure that it's not a phishing site. Make sure that it says My Ether Wallet LLC and has this little lock. You can close out of this. And then you go to this tab right here, Send Ether and Tokens. How would you like to access your wallet? I have MetaMask, so I want to do this. Connect to MetaMask. You need to be signed in for this to work. We already put in our password earlier, so it's going to connect automatically. But sometimes it needs you to re-sign in with your password to your MetaMask before it can connect. So click connect and see it auto shows up. It, it knows I have 0.03 ETH here and how to see your tokens. Okay, so you want to show all tokens, but this doesn't have APPC. If it did, all you need to do is click to load and it'll show my 160 or so. But instead, I'm gonna add custom token again. It got a space, I'm gonna delete that, APPC 18, and press save. And see, it pops up right here, 160. I'm gonna delete these other two because I don't have any. And so now, I'm gonna send my APPC tokens to a new address. Right here, send entire balance, gas limit, I'm just going to up a bit to 100,000. You don't have to do that most of the time. Generate transaction and send transaction. And then click here. And then MetaMask is going to pop up asking you to confirm transaction. So once again, I'm going to do a pretty high gas fee. This looks OK. I'm going to keep this as is and press submit. And voila, right here. Your transaction has been broadcasted in network. You can read this yourself. And then you can verify transaction. It's going to pop up the transaction on Etherscan. So you can check the status. Or you can check it on my Ether wallet as well. Most of the time, you just need to be patient. And eventually, it will get there. So right now, it says we're unable to locate this transaction hash. But it hasn't been that long. Sometimes I have to wait quite a long time during times of network congestion before this shows up. So I'm just going to be a little bit patient. And voila, after about like five minutes, I refresh it again and it showed up. Usually it does not take this long, but since the network is congested, it's going to take a while for everything to go through. Just have patience. So this is pretty much it. After a while, it's going to turn from pending to successful. And then if I check the other address, it's going to have those 160 app coins over there. 
So I hope this tutorial was helpful and a lot more clear than my previous one. Once again, I want to apologize that that was a little bit rushed and not as clear as possible. In this one, I showed you how to get your address so you can deposit Ether into MetaMask, how to send Ethers elsewhere from MetaMask, how to add new tokens, how to combine with my Ether wallet to send tokens elsewhere, and other details as well. If this was helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Please share my video and my channel with your other friends in the crypto community. I would greatly appreciate that, and I will see you next time.